Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some problems. Here, the problem is identify the stability for given border plot. So, border plot is given just by using these border plots, just identify the given system is stable or not. So, here, the first question is a given dB. dB means what is this? This is the magnitude plot. First thing. That value is it is at 0 dB, it has some value and it will reach this 0 and it continuously going. And this means this is the phase. This phase is minus 180, this is a minus 100 and it will reach the minus 180 here. Okay. So in order to in order to in order to tell the stability, we can method the two methods. The first method is the first method is by identifying the gain crossover frequency and the phase crossover frequency. Gain crossover frequency and the phase crossover frequency. So by that values we can identify this. So look at here wherever wherever so look at here this is the this is the point the magnitude becomes 0 dB that this frequency is known as the gain crossover frequency gain crossover frequency and here the phase the phase where it touches minus 180 degrees this frequency this is the actually this is a frequency curve this is the frequency curve that frequency is known as the phase crossover frequency phase crossover frequency so just observe here this, this frequency value is this this frequency value is this those are same frequency uh, so frequency axis so that's why if you observe here gain crossover frequency is less than the phase crossover frequency if you observe here gain crossover frequency is less than the phase crossover frequency so whenever gain crossover frequency is less than the phase crossover frequency the given system is system is stable system the given system is the stable system so we are identifying the stability so we can go for the another method second method what is the second method second method gives by using the gain margin and the phase margin here first method for the gain crossover frequency and the phase crossover frequency and second method is for the gain margin and the phase margin gain margin and the phase margin okay so just find out the gain margin for this so look at here at gain crossover frequency the phase value is the phase value is the minus 100 degrees okay minus 100 degrees so first write down uh, I will uh, go next leave that just just look at here yeah just observe here at phase crossover frequency phase crossover frequency what is the magnitude of the magnitude of the gain the magnitude of the gain is the 40 magnitude of the gain is the minus 40 so at at phase crossover frequency the gain equal to minus 40 and what is the gain margin value so to become to become gain to become gain equal to 0 db uh, to become the gain equal 0 db what is the required gain uh, required gain is the 40 db 40 db therefore the gain margin is the 40 db gain margin is the 40 db and this 40 db is nothing but the 40 db is nothing but the gain margin is the we can tell gain margin is the more than more than 0 db so more than 0 db that's why it is called 
more than 0 dB. That's why it is called stable system. Uh, so according to the gain, gain margin we are getting. What about phase margin? So look at the phase margin. Wherever the where it grain crossover frequency, what is the phase value? Minus 100. So at grain crossover frequency, what is the phase value? Is minus 100. Minus 100. Then what is the phase margin? The phase margin formula is 180 plus angle. Therefore, 180 minus 100. So finally, we will get phase margin is the EIT. Phase margin is the EIT. And phase margin is the EIT means what we know that it should be the positive. So whenever gain margin value is more than 0 dB and phase margin is the positive then the given system is the stable system given system is the stable system okay so compare with the two two methods the first method is very very simple if you want to understand the gain margin and phase margin it is the very very important okay if this is the method so go for the next problem so look at the next problem the next problem is given 0 dB is here and it doesn't given anything and minus 180 is given. So look at here. This is the gain crossover frequency. So same go for the method 1. Method 1 is related for the gain crossover as well as phase crossover frequency. So here look at here. This is the gain crossover frequency. This point is the gain crossover frequency. Why? Which touches 0 dB is nothing but the gain crossover frequency. So we, we don't know but this will be touch at minus 180. That is nothing but the phase crossover frequency. Okay. Yeah. If you observe here gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency both are the same. So here gain crossover frequency and the phase crossover frequency both are same. Whenever the both are same, the given system is the stable system. The given system is stable system. The given system is a stable system. Otherwise, otherwise you will move to second method. So sec simple method two is simple. Look at here method two. So at phase first at phase crossover frequency at phase crossover frequency already the gain value is gain value is 0 db what is the requirement of gain margin gain margin is also the 0 db because it required it maintain 0 db it already have the 0 db at gain crossover frequency what is the phase value? Phase value is the minus 180. Phase value is the minus 180. So what is the phase and what is the phase margin? Phase margin equal to 180 minus 180. Then it becomes the 0. So from that gain margin is 0 dB, phase margin is 0. So therefore gain margin is 0 dB and phase margin is 0 degrees phase margin is 0 degrees so whenever gain margin is gain margin is 0 to be phase margin is 0 degrees then given system we can call it as the system is call it as the marginally stable system marginally stable system okay so this is by using the conditions also we can tell the given system is the marginally stable system or by observing the gain crossover frequency phase crossover frequency we can tell that the given system is the stable system okay so first you look at the gain crossover frequencies and the phase crossover frequencies then you can find out gain margin at the phase margin okay so these are the 
to different problems methods to understand the gain margin and phase margin gain crossover frequency and the phase crossover frequency okay so i hope all of you understand the session thank you